It is not our mission to see through each other. It is our mission to see each other through. If it's to me, it is up to me. I am talented. I am excellent. I am somebody. I'll never be a nobody. And I'll uplift everybody. From this day, from this time, Regardless of race, creed, or culture, we must turn to each other and not on each other. Give yourselves a hand, ladies and gentlemen. There is power in celebrating excellence. Before you were able to celebrate excellence all of your lives, you had to turn those setbacks into setups that became comebacks. You see, all of your lives, before any report card was given out, before any test score was returned, nine times out of 10, you took a test with a pencil. And I'm going to give you the keys to celebrating excellence for the rest of your life, and I'm going to do it through an analogy, a metaphor, a symbol of the pencil. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, hold up your symbolic pencils. Everyone, hold up your symbolic pencils. Everyone, all over the building, hold up your symbolic pencils and repeat after me. I have, I have my writing utensil for celebrating Celebrate. excellence. Very good. Ladies and gentlemen, how many of you know out there, how many of you understand that this pencil could not be used if it was not held. How many of you understand that? You see, tonight I want you to know that this pencil would have no value unless someone was willing to hold it. Well, Mr. Brown, what is your point tonight? Graduates, family members, distinguished guests, Dr. Ebony Harris, everyone in the building, I want you to know tonight that if I took your lives and I paralleled your lives with the pencil, you have to be willing to be healed. See, all of your lives, you faced obstacles, and somebody held you. ILP held you to get to this point. But in order for you to go a little higher, Crystal, in order for you to go a little higher, you're gonna have to be willing to be held. You're gonna have to be willing to trust. You're gonna have to be willing to love. You're gonna have to be willing to be nurtured. I know that that's been real hard all of your lives, but now, in order to go to the next level, level you're gonna have to be willing to be held. How many of you are willing to be held tonight? Give yourselves a hand. That's move number one. I want everyone to turn your heads back to the right, all the way back. One, two, three. Look back. Let it hurt. On the count of three, look at me. One, two, three. On the count of three, look all the way back to the left. One, two, three. Let it hurt. And on the count of three, look back at me. One, two, three. Students, let that be the last time you ever look back at your past again. If some brilliant individual saw fit to put an eraser on a pencil, then certainly in our own lives, we must learn to erase the mistakes that we've made and we must block out the mistakes of others. See, I didn't grow up with my real father either. That's what they said, real father. I didn't grow up with my biological father, but there was a man who came into my life and they called him my stepfather, and I don't like that term, but if he must be called my stepfather, it is because he stepped in and helped save my life. See, tonight, there are those amongst you who have stepped in, who have erased some of that pain, and tonight, I want to let you know, as you erase those mistakes, look at me, your memory is a replay of your past, but your imagination is a replay of your future. You got to erase the mistakes of the past when you took your last test in high school or college. Look at me. When you took your last test, did the machine know your name? Did the machine know your circumstances? 
Did the machine know where you came from? Did the machine even care? No, the only thing the machine understood is what was written on that paper. So Mr. Brown, what's your point? Rule number five is the probably the most, it's probably the most powerful and most prolific of them all. After you are willing to be held, after you are willing to be sharpened in this life, after you are willing to erase the mistakes, after you understand that your greatness is on the inside, rule number five, ILP, wherever you go in life, you better be like the pencil and you better leave your mark. You better be like the pencil, and you better leave your mark. High School Musical, come on, hurry up. <laughs> on the count of three, at this time, on the count of three, fall back. One, two, three. Lift your legs up. Come on in. Hurry up, get in. 17. I want you to understand something tonight, ILP. If we stay on this level as a people, all races, see, we didn't come to America on the same ship. But see, if you and ILP tonight, we all in the same boat. And so if we stay on this level, we will never be able to celebrate excellence. But how many of you know when we work together, when we understand that united we stick and divided we're stuck. How many of you know we can rise a little higher? So right now, I need y'all to lift ILP on the count of three just a little bit. One, two, three. Stop. She's dead, y'all. But she's willing to be held. She's willing to be sharp. She's willing to erase the mistakes of the past so how many of you know this is good? But how many of you know everyone in this auditorium tonight deserves to celebrate excellence and go a little higher? So now, on the next count, let's lift ILP up just a little more. One, two, three, stop. Woo. Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown, they are lifting me higher, but I'm afraid. Students, sometimes the higher in life you go, the harder it's going to get. But how many of you are willing to take that risk and go a little higher right now? How many of you are willing to go a little higher? How many of you are willing to be sharp? How many of you will understand tonight you got to leave your mark? So, on the next count, 